Hi, me with a cheesy grin. I've got a new airbrush. It's an Iwata HPC Plus. It's got a 7mm cup. A bit worried about that because of the size of it. I won't know until I try using it. But um, I decided that the HP, uh, HPB Plus, which had a 1.8mm cup in it, was too small. I thought you can put a little amount in a big cup, but you can't put a big amount in a little cup. So, it's got a 7mm cup, um, it's got bells and whistles. Um, it's got a, a preset stop so that you can uh, set it to, uh, if I push it right in, so the trigger will stop. You can even push it right forward and it becomes a single action. Um, you have this um, cutaway here, which enables you to pull back here so that uh, when you're cleaning you can dump a lot of paint out really quickly or you can put uh, your cleaning fluid and dump that through really quickly. On the inside, um, <clears throat> somebody can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe this, apart from being unscrewing this to take the whole um, um, mechanism out uh, for, for cleaning in the future, this also you can tighten or loosen this slightly which will um, also loosen the trigger action so this is right in and if you presumably unscrew it a little bit it will give you some a looser trigger action I'm going to undo this just for a minute worry about the uh, put that in carefully the needle so um, there you go and there's with the cutaway handle it all seems to screw in quite nicely it feels very nice it's very well made um, it has here a separate I'm not going to take this completely apart. I'll pull my needle back. We've got this. That's that's a crown. I actually bought um, a separate crown. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's really tiny, and um, it's got like a a V shape, which is a bit like the um, the custom micron. Uh, I want a custom micron or the infinity, but you can buy them for most airbrushes apparently. This is the the um, pull my needle back again. This is the uh, nozzle cap, and I'm going to say the one thing that I'm worried about is this nozzle, because it's really tiny. I mean, I didn't know this, and you get a little spanner, which is, again, tiny little spanner, and this you have to slot in there, and very, very carefully, to uh, loosen this. I'm not going to do it now, but you, you loosen the nozzle to, for cleaning, and then um, you have to tighten it up and you have to be really kind, careful not to over tighten it. So that is one thing that I'm a bit worried about. This, um, in this uh, C Plus, uh, it's got a steel nozzle um, as opposed to a, uh, a brass one, apparently. Uh, it also has um, uh, seals in it which uh, can cope with uh, solvent paints. So that's another thing I wanted the option to be able to use different paints, although I doubt I'm going to be using solvent paints at all. But it's nice to know you have the option. Um, it has uh, basically very nice weight and feel to it. It has this um, ergonomic piece here, which presumably is to make it easier to hold. Um, having never used it and not my old brush doesn't have it, I don't know. So there you go. Um, it's got an ergonomic cup inside. And also there's a cap to go on top of the lid, which um, is very uh, sits very nicely on there, so that you're not going to get any, apparently, it's not going to fall out, so that's great. Not going to get nasty accidents. It comes with uh, the, the spray um, sample for every brush um, of these brushes, the custom mic microns and uh, the high performance brushes get their own little um, spray pattern, which is quite a nice little touch. And there you go, there is my um, my lovely uh, new airbrush. I can't wait to use that. Um, anyway, I will be uh, uh, trying that out. Um, I have to say that um, it's not fair to compare it to my old airbrush. My old airbrush is a, is a Hardman Spe Steinbeck Ultra. Um, and it's got a 2.0 needle in it. I don't know if I said this. This one's got a, a, a 0.3 millimeter needle in it. And this is this is a 0.2. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that the 0.3 is going to help with paint flow because I've been having paint flow problems with this one. And the one thing I don't like about this is the cups loose. And uh, because of that, it leaks. 
probably because I'm mixing with paint so thin because I'm having trouble getting them out. But uh, yes, I'm a beginner and um, you know I've been having problems. And this at the moment's got some plumber's tape on it because I was having some more problems there. So there you go. That's my old brush. But it's not fair to directly compare this to the um, Iwata because you know this one was 70 euros and this one 150. So that's um, over double the price. Um, but this one's got more bells and whistles on it. But you'd expect it to be. Um, to work better. With my airbrush I also got uh, super lube which you're supposed to use with um, your Iowater brush um, putting some of this on the um, last one and a half centimetres of your needle apparently also helps with um, dry tip. Uh, I got a spare spring and this time I bought a spare um, needle for my airbrush so that I don't have to panic so much if I have a, a needle problem I've got a spare. So uh, there you go that's what I bought very excited and um, I can't wait to get going on this. Um, lucky me. See you soon. Bye.